Hello, everyone. My name is Sarah Farley, and I'm the Vice President of Global Market Development at the U.S. Green Building Council. Now I'm here today to provide a quick demo of the LEED credit substitution functionality that is available to all LEED V4, BDNC, and IDNC projects that are registered in LEED Online after April 18, 2022. LEED credit substitutions are available to LEED V4 credits that elect to use an equivalent LEED V4 credit. We've had this option available since LEED V4.1 was launched, but we've improved the functionality in LEED Online so that there is more of a streamlined approach to credit substitutions. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen in order to give you a quick demo of this functionality. So I'm going to go ahead into my project list. I am going to select this uh, credit substitution demo. Then I will click into the credit screen. And of course, you will see all the credits listed here. And as normal, you can go in and enter your information into these credit forms. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and add lead before file and save my, my work here. Now, if I go back into the credit act section, we were in the construction activity pension, pension credit. I have saved my information in that lead before form, but I have decided that I would like to pursue the lead before point one credit instead. Now, you'll see a little icon at the side of all of the credits that have the potential for or have an equivalent of B4.1 credit and have the potential for credit substitution. So this is one of those credits. So I'm going to go ahead and click that icon here and confirm that I would prefer to use the B4.1 form. Now, you'll see it no longer is the form that I was using before. Instead, when I click in here, I can see the options available for this form. It does not carry over my information from the V4 form because the V4 form could have different inputs and different fields. So instead, I have to re-enter or I am prompted to re-enter the information that is relevant to the V4.1 credit. That all here, but you will notice that the file that I saved does transfer. Those files transfer between the V4 and the V4.1 credit. You can obviously delete it here if you so choose. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to add a file that I'm going to say is my B4.1 file. I'm going to save that here. And now I have all my work saved for my B4.1 credit substitution. And that saved is ready for a brief review. If I were to submit for review, that's what we would go forward with. But instead, I'm going to just show you some of more of the functionality. I'm going to um, elect not to pursue the credit substitution, and you'll see it's back to the original form, and we have the original data entered. So basically, you have two versions of the form, the V4 form um, and the V4.1 form. You can enter information independently in each one, and it is saved there. You can see the version history of this form. Um, you can access any past versions. Um, and you can swap between the two, version 4 or the version 4.1, as you see fit. The one item that I would call out for you to note is just that this uh, file, whether it's uh, entered into the V4 form or the V4.1 form, it does transfer. Um, and you can choose to remove or uh, save it as appropriate. Um, there's no change here. So we'll just go back to our credits. And that is basically the uh, functionality. Um, behind credit substitutions, we hope that you will find this um, easy to use and more streamlined than uh, functionality in the past. And if you have any questions, you are also welcome to reach out to the technology team at USGBC. Thank you very much for your participation, and uh, we look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you.